Hi, I'm making a game called Child Hammer. It's where you swing a child around and you can use them to hit enemies and stuff like that. So far, I've been making the game in Unity, and I ended up making it twice because I kind of messed it up the first time, and it was very poorly made. Unity made some questionable choices though, and I don't know if I really trust them, so I thought it would probably be a good idea to move the game to Godot. So uh, I don't really know how to use Godot, but Heartbeast had a pretty nice series on making an action RPG in Godot. After watching through all of the videos, I feel like I had a pretty good idea of what I was doing. Yeah, so I joined a game jam to get everything to sink into my brain. And the game I made was a horror game about a monkey. I think it turned out pretty good. Also, the audio is pretty questionable. Most of the sounds are just me screaming and making weird monkey impressions. I also added some deep lore to the game and got my brother to help me. But moving Child Hammer was a little scary. I messed around trying to get things to work, but I didn't really have any of the stuff I was using in Unity. Like the spring joint, hinge joint, and inverse kinematics. But uh, now I don't really have that stuff. I kinda thought about what I should do for a bit and figured it would probably be best if I made everything myself. I have no idea what I'm doing though, or how I'm gonna make this stuff. But I figured I would start with the rope. Thankfully we have Google. So uh, I looked up how to make a spring and I found that I could use Hook's Law, which makes this springy effect. It kind of worked for the first part, but when I tried going further with it, it kind of just started blowing up. I ended up spending about a week before I went back to Google and I actually found something that was a lot nicer. It turns out there's this thing called roulette integration. There were some pretty nice videos on it. I watched a couple videos from Coding Math that talks about Verlet integration and kind of goes through it. And another one from Pez's work. After watching the videos, the rope was actually starting to look pretty good. Alright, now we need to make a ragdoll. To make a ragdoll, we need arms and legs. So I did some searching on Google on how to make a hinge joint, but uh, I have no idea what I'm looking at. So instead of doing that stuff, I rearranged the nodes in certain ways to somehow craft a hinge joint, but that didn't work out too well. Okay, I went back to Google, but this time I found a page on Revolute joints and box 2D and that kind of gave me a good idea of what I might be able to do So what we can do is use the pin joint to attach the bodies together and Then we can make two points and set their position to the pin joints position After that we add the points as children to each body and get the displacement between the points Then we can use that displacement to move one of the bodies so it looks like they're not separating. Yeah, so we pretty much just let the pin joint do all of the hard stuff while I just keep the bodies together. Surprisingly, it actually worked out pretty good. Adding limits wasn't too hard for the first part, but when one of his limbs would hit 180 degrees, they start doing loop-de-loops. After going through and trying to figure out what was wrong, I found that Godot changes the rotation when a node hits 180 degrees, which kind of messes up the code I wrote. I ended up writing a bunch of code to allow the rotation degrees to go to 360 instead of switching at 180. The code is pretty messy, 
It works, though. I should probably clean it up or something, but it's fine. I then slapped the face on the child. I actually went through, I think, three different versions of a face before I came to a pretty good one that I liked. After that, I just threw together a quick red guy that you can punch around and damage. And I think we're done. Everything actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. At first, I thought it wouldn't be as good as what I had before because Unity has more features and stuff like that, but everything actually feels a lot better. I think that's mostly because I made a lot of this stuff myself, so I've got a lot more control over how everything works. Overall, I think Unity and Godot are both pretty good, but I'm gonna stick with Godot in case Unity ends up doing something weird in the future. There really isn't a good or bad engine to use. In the end, it all comes down to what you like and if it works with the kind of game you're making. Not too sure when I'll make the next devlog, but hopefully soon. I'll, I want to get it up in maybe a month or two. I've mostly just been trying to get the core gameplay finished. I also really want to cook up some art and add some nice juice. If you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and Hit like if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. See ya.